Well, hey, all you viewers to play later. How are we doing today? I got something a little bit different for you. And when I saw it, I went, I really like the pose of that model. But I didn't realize all the little neat, little intricate details that were on it. But as you know by that thumbnail and everything else you clicked to get here today, we're going to take a look at a Space Marines Captain in Gravis Armor. This is what gets me. So, heh. <laughs> Gravis armor is like you take a big armored, just beefy son of a bitch, and you pack more armor on him. Not Terminator armor, but really, really close. Okay, and it always makes me giggle when you have like a Primaris captain, which is already bigger than a normal Marine, and you put more armor on him. So I really liked the look of that. It's a strong, dynamic figure on the battlefield, and if you put a good paint job on it, it's going to draw your attention to it which could be cool because your opponent may focus on it while you're trying to sneak trips around the side and bite him in the butt. But that's just me. Now, like with everything else that Games Workshop does, it comes with sprues. This one came with two. And I thought that was a little bit odd. And yeah, you can see some spare pieces there. Normally on these bigger guys, you don't get that many spares. But what I didn't know when I bought it is you have multiple ways to put it together. I'll get there in a sec. All right. Now, the sprues do have itty-bitty little numbers on there. I don't know if you can see them. It's just like putting a model car or a model airplane together. Inside the thing, you just open it up, and it has the little instruction guide. Now, if you notice, where are we? Okay, over here, you have three different options for that arm, which hence gave me the extra parts, like the power fist, the chain sword, or the power sword. I went with the power sword because I thought the big sword hanging out the thing looked really, really dynamic. Not to mention, with doing the horse hearsay, I had visions of using that chainsword with a Praetor model. It really didn't, with the arm and where it was going on that Praetor, it really wasn't going to seem good to me, so I kind of had to skip it. It's on the sprue. But I've got an idea for another conversion coming up. Or as they call it nowadays, kit bashing. But, okay. So, where is it? Sorry, there's one piece that was in here that, um, yeah. Pay particular attention to this step right here, all right? I ran into a little bit of trouble with it, <coughs> and it caused me some fits. I'm going to show you that here in a moment. But you're in for a treat. Not only is the model assembled, primed, it's painted and sealed. So you guys are going to be one of the first ones to see it. There it is in all its glory. I really like that. Yes, I know that's not a power fist on that side, but normally when I see things like that with a big, bulky fist, my mind goes right towards a power fist. So I just gave it in there as red in case I wanted to make some change in the future. Now, with this being a captain, I really wanted it to stand out. <coughs> no Rona, just seasonal change. So that's where you're seeing a lot more gold accent on the miniature. Because, you know, if you figure you're a captain, you've been around for a while, you've got accolades, you've got things. Especially putting yourself in Gravis armor, which is uh, huge armor. You're going to stand out a lot more. Now, okay, I did run into some problems during assembly. Number one, if you look over there with the 40 millimeter grenade launcher thing, the belt feed is not attached properly because... <sighs> where I positioned the arm as opposed to something else. It ran into problems on the back, and I didn't know that in the beginning. So that was problem number one. Problem number two was the cloak. <sighs> How can I put it? I should not have attached that shoulder pauldron first. I should have gotten the cloak more in position because right there is green stuff. Okay, I ran into a problem where there was a big gap. This little bit on the pauldron, that's right through the, well, right here. Hopefully I'm showing it correctly. Uh, what do we got? This little bit right there. It supposed, was supposed to have connected perfectly right into that little buckle right there. And I was so used to, okay, my arms that way, I attached the pauldron first. And then went to do the cloak. And when I came back later, I went, oh, poopy. You know, I'm like, that thing's been setting for 12 hours. I'm not going to be able to break that off easy, and I'm not going to go out and put out the other price for it. Oh, and speaking of price, 40 bucks. 
40 bucks on Amazon current as of Friday, August 26, 2028. And that just reminds me, I did a couple other videos where I forgot to mention the price. Yay. But still, I had to take some green stuff and mold it in there and try to put some folds in there. So, I mean, it looks a little weird considering it covers up part of that buckle. But I still like the look of it. I still like the feel of it. I love the little servo skull that's floating around him. Like, I, I got you, boss. I got you. Yeah, we're going to go out and put these orders. But that is a massive dude coming across the battlefield at you. I did like the more dynamic flow of the cloak, how it, you know, does. It's like he was turning around and the cloak's going with him. I really like how that turned out. Not to mention the power sword. It started basically as a big blue wash. And I worked it up to a grayish whitish tinge to be at making it look like things are going through. But still, I know my skills are not as impressive as other people's, but I really like the fact that with each miniature, I'm pushing myself to learn and grow more. All right. Now, with that wonderful stuff being said, we're at the best part of the video for me. I want to know your, wait for it, questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you, um, what faction do you play in 40k? I shouldn't say do you play 40k because you're on a gaming channel, so obviously you're looking for 40k gaming stuff. You know, what faction do you play? Do you do Space Marines? Do you do Tyranids? Do you do the Inquis you know, the Imperial Guard, not the Inquisition because they're just a bunch of idiots. But still, you know, what do you play? Have you assembled this figure before? Did you run into any of those problems before? Please share that right down below. Let's help other people out. Because that's one of the great things about having a YouTube channel is helping solve people's problems. Hey, I bought it. I screwed up. This is what I did to fix it. Maybe you won't run into this. That's a great one with this miniature. Even though I love it, I don't know what I'm going to call him yet. But he will get a name here very, very shortly. <laughs> but now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during filming of this video, please hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. My quick look at Games Workshop's Space Marine Captain in Gravis Armor. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you're having a great day, a safe day, and I hope one day to see you across the tabletop.